141,000 Nigerians flee Nigeria to UK within a year. This is owing to economic hardship and to an extent it has a positive impact to the Afrobeat world. That is what a lot of people are getting to understand on Afrobeat blog. This makes it easier for Nigerian artists to climb charts in UK at a time like this because we have our brothers and sisters in UK streaming your songs on UK's platform and that is going to count for them at a time like this and a lot of people can see that evident enough in the recent uh, report by Apple Music and other platforms around the world like Spotify. To an extent it has a bad impact in the economy, a lot of people are virtually fighting for their life at a time like this, owing to the bad governance policies by this recent administration. I think they need to find a way, not stopping people physically from traveling, but instead, they should put in some policies that makes Nigeria economically viable and friendly for young people to thrive. Guys, what do you think about a collaboration between Odumudu Black and Nasty C? It's going to be so loud. These guys are both big rappers in Africa. Odomodu Black is one of the trending rap artists in Nigeria and a person of Narcissi is one of the biggest acts in South Africa right now. There is a particular collaboration between Sharawale and Techno. That is one thing I want to talk about in this video because I spoke about if Ghanaians want to get hold or nominations at the Grammys, they need to do some certain things differently. With the collaboration between Sharawale and Techno, I think they are on the right path but they need to understand one thing that they need to jump in the trend that is one of the biggest advantage that some of the countries are taking off Nigerians and other part of the world. Is that collaboration really going to pay off? That is the question many people are really asking and they need answers to that. I think it's not going to pay that well because Techno is not a trending artist right now in Nigeria. You know, they should have considered the likes of Rema, the likes of um, Omale, the likes of um, you know, Thames, Irasta and a lot of others that are trending. Even individual burner boy and uh, you know other artists to actually consider for a collaboration because that is the only means you can really jump into the lips of many people around the globe. Jumping on a trending artist will give you advantage of that. But Techno is a good artist and a good creator, not a trending artist in Nigeria. For Sharawale, yes, it's a positive one, but it's not going to be so loud or pay off very well. If they must get Grammy Awards, they need to always jump on trending artist for a feature. That is one of the biggest things they need to understand. But they will tell you that it's expensive to have this artist in the studio, you know, to have a song with them. But you need to invest some money for you to get some better results. That is what it is for Ghanaian music industry right now. I know they can see me coming from a fire they're burning. But when you they do me conning, and you know I've been running. Tell the man make his face so Man, are we still talking about Ghana Jelov versus Nigeria Jelov? That is what is trending. And a person of uh, Hidabashi right now says something about that. And a lot of people are reacting from Ghana and also from Nigeria at a point like this. She said this. Nigerian Jelov is actually better than Ghana Jelov. Hmm. What is your own thought about it? Ghana Jelov versus Nigeria Jelov is one thing that people have taken as a point of discussion around Nigeria or West. Africa at a time like this. Pato Ranking is coming out to say if we had paid attention to Moba's lyrics, we would have seen the signs of him being molested, assaulted, and you know, being disturbed right now. And we would have been able to stop this from happening. I quite agree with Pato Ranking based on this particular um you know kind of statement he made about mobile when you listen to the lyrics of mobile he talked about how depressed he's been although the black is coming out to say a vax from terms is five hundred thousand dollars that is about five hundred million naira is quite expensive for an artist to understand he posted this on his twitter page a lot of people are disagreeing with him saying that he not reach to an extent what of the video you want to tell us say terms cost past the video but Odomodu black was seen with terms in the studio and i think they are collaborating already is it a kind of hype from Odomodu? that is the question many people are raising now many people have been analyzing what Choma 
worth to Davido's concert. She wore about 280 million naira worth of accessories, clothes. That is quite expensive to an extent. And a lot of people can tell you that, man, Davido is taking care of Choma very well. What are your own questions about this whole thing I've said? I want you to leave that in the comment section. What you feel about what I've said so far. Don't fail to subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the subscribe button below the bell notification icon to always get notifications each time we upload our videos. Ghanaian music is gradually losing its touch because of too much pressure <laughs> that is coming in from medical not be me to come up they won't give me. a lot of ganyas they need to understand that there's something actually wrong in their music environment or their music setup give me my girlfriend let me go which they need to put a right you have to listen to a lot of music uh, experts and some people some bloggers out there to actually do something right in your music industry a lot of smaller countries like kivet they are winning grammys already why ghana a big country is not winning grammy you will end up in my ghana there's something that is missing in their music environment cv is crazy madness now i have to share this with you guys in this particular video you can join my telegraph channel with the link on my tiktok page at a point like this if Ghana must get a Grammy Awards anytime soon, they have to do some certain things alright, which I'll be sharing with you in this particular video. Medical has actually said a lot of things about pressure on Ghanaian artists to actually winning some global and international recognition out there. <laughs> According to Medica, what he posted on X, Ghana music is slowly losing its touch and source due to loss of pressure exerted by certain groups of people. The focus of fun and entertainment is gradually being swayed from entertainment to a target or goal. Music not be competition. Based on what he said, you will understand that they are making it competition in Ghana instead of a business or entertainment to an extent. That is something they need to understand. They should focus on the business side and the entertainment side of music rather than the competitive side because that is not going to like you know help them anytime soon. Based on what I experienced, like Ghana is talking about selling out stadium in Ghana, you sell out stadium in Ghana has not internationally impacted in the Ghanaian music until you go out there like O2 Arena, Madison Square Gardens around and sell out arenas. That is when you'll be heard internationally and that counts a lot if you want to get Grammys. C V Things Ghanaian musicians need to do if they want to get Grammys are they should work with professional music sellers or marketers out there or PR because this is one thing that they are lacking to understand. Because when you do that, these guys understand the terrain and how to get your music out there. When you do that, you will get your music heard by voters of Grammy to an extent. We have about 12,000 members of Grammy Awards or Academy. To get your music heard, you have to go beyond your environment, your immediate or local environment, engaging the services of um, you know professional marketers or PROs out there to take your music to the news and cranny of this world.